Stop. This is fake. This is fake. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why wouldn't you get something for him? Oh my god, Tarasenko is going to be on the Kraken. Tarasenko is going to be on the Kraken. Oh my. Tarasenko is going to be... Everyone sing with me. La 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 la. La 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 la. Hey! Tarasenko, the Kraken. Bye bye. <laughs> Bro. Oh my. Bro. That is insane. Man. Why wouldn't you try to get something? Something. There's no way the Kraken don't claim Tarasenko. Are you kidding me right now? Bro. <laughs> Okay, the only like sense I'll give for the Blues here is if teams were just being like, that's why I just don't get this because Duncan Keith was traded and there was it seemed like there was no leverage. Aiden Hill was traded for a second and it seemed like there was no leverage. I understand the Blues did not have much leverage here, but you're telling me you couldn't get at least a second round pick or a third round pick or something. You're just going to lose Tarasenko for nothing. I just... Am I confused? Am I missing something? I get the injuries here. I get the attitude towards the organization. I get all of it. But are you going to be that spiteful to just be like, nah, we're just exposing this guy. We're sending a message. We're exposing this guy. You could have got something. Something. And honestly, I get a lot of teams probably wanted Tarasenko to be retained. Like the Blues to retain at least some of Tarasenko's salary. But you're telling me there wasn't one team out there that was willing to take Tarasenko's contract it's not even that bad of a contract for a guy that could, I think, turn it around this upcoming season with a new team. Oh my gosh. If this starts coming together where the Kraken get Tarasenko, they get Duchesne, they get Everly. I get these are big contracts, but these are guys that could put together a decent season in the Pacific Division. Do we not, like, are some people forgetting again that the Pacific Division is not that strong? It is not. This is giving a big chance for the Kraken to compete to be good in the Pacific Division. If they start getting some of these big top six forwards, uh, and then they get experienced guys on the back end, if they get Giordano out of Calgary. Um, and yeah, salary cap is a thing. But then you, you you select other guys at low cap hits. Like, for example, I'll throw Anaheim out there. You can get a Volkov or someone at a low cap hit. Um, same thing with like a Buffalo, for example. You get a guy at a low cap hit. This is crazy, man. The Pacific Division, yes, I think is probably by far, but at, for sure the weakest. I, I think you could argue the bottom half of the Central maybe, but the man, the Metro is so solid. The Atlantic is so good. Uh, the Pacific is 100% the weakest division coming up. And now the Kraken are having a chance to get a guy like Tarasenko. Man, we talked about like the big names going to Vegas. Uh, whether it was like Flurry or James Neal, like Tarasenko was a huge name. What a marketing thing this could be. I am, if this actually goes down, I think I'm gonna instantly get a Tarasenko Kraken jersey because that's so sick. That's so cool. Uh, man, wow. I didn't think this was going down. I thought for sure if Tarasenko was gonna end up with the Kraken, it would be for like a trade. Uh, and maybe there is some kind of understanding here, but this is this is pretty insane. Wow. <laughs>